Manel, good evening. Thank you for joining. Okay. I think we are live, ah, Sandalina. Okay, let me see so that I can yeah, also share. Yeah, we are live. Yeah, yeah. I'm also okay. here now. We are Hold live. Now. Hi, guys. So, I'm just sharing our live on, on Facebook just to make sure that our viewers on Facebook also gets to us, right? It's very, very important so that we are able to empower a lot of people. So let me see this. Hi, hi, Cherries Anne. How are you? Good evening to you. So today we're going to be talking about a very, very important thing. And it's very, very current and applicable. Good evening, Krista. How's, how's everybody doing? All right, guys. Hi, Dan JB. Good evening. I am so happy to see all of you here. So just give me a second, okay, guys? I just want to make sure that I'm doing this correct because I remember last week I didn't share it properly and my friends were like, oh, there wasn't any video. So I want to make sure that I'm sharing it properly. All right. So for those oh, of you who are yes. wondering, we are live on both Kumu and Facebook. Facebook. Uh, this is the Real Negociante Talk. We are live every season one is until our episode 12. We are already on episode 10. 10 episodes yeah. na tayo. Right. Yeah. Two more episodes <laughs> for season yeah. one. For season one, exactly. And um, half of that, no. One fourth of that we did in my studio, in my home studio. And <laughs> Two-thirds of that we're doing in our homes. Yes. yes. So, so we, hey, we are a good example of evolving, right? Exactly, evolving right? and pivoting <laughs> and making sure that we still <laughs> deliver to our customers. Good evening, Mrs. Yeah, Smith. And good evening, everybody. So yeah. it is 8.01 p.m. So we are now starting the show, okay? So as usual, I'm going to have to do the introduction. Good evening, mga negosyante. Welcome to the to the Startup Secrets, the Real Negosyante Talk. It is me, Miss Olivia, one of your hosts for tonight. And of course, we have the very, very beautiful and very, very smart Miss Maria K. Tan with us. Maria, go ahead. Hey, kumusta mga negosyante? Magandang magandang gabi sa inyong lahat and I am very happy to be sharing space again with you and with a very important topic tonight. Kasi tonight, we're going to talk about how the CEOs and the employees need to take steps together. Di ba, Ms. O? Yeah, so now we are actually talking about, um, we are talking about working really working together collaborating together we are no longer seeing us as separate entities right because through this pandemic we really need to change the way that we do things right or at least tweak it a little bit so that we can help each other um get through it thank you so much for the gifts guys and again for people on facebook we are live on kumu and they can give us virtual gifts over there so please don't think that i am weird thinking people for gifts okay <laughs> <laughs> but you can send us gifts too physical yes. gifts are also welcome <laughs> you can send us cards. all yeah. right guys and actually so, you know miss miss O, we, we were actually talking earlier now for today's topic, we really made it very easy and very simple to remember, hindi ba? Kasi, yes. syempre, ang dami na nga nating pag-aaralan, ang dami na nating nag adjust on a daily basis. We adjust so fast. So, nag, nag, we came up with this very, very simple, okay, very simple, easy to remember acronym for you. To really remember that this is the framework to really come together you know, as the bosses, kasi di ba nga sa pandemic ngayon in the Philippines, we all say together, we heal, right? We heal as one. We also mm -hmm. take steps as one. And as one. our, yes, and our acronym is, drum rolls, please. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> what is our, our acronym? Our acronym is STEPS. S-T-E-P-S. Very easy yes. to remember. So remember last week we did tell you guys that we are going to be presenting you with a framework, right? Um, two weeks ago, we discussed about how you can take care of yourself as a CEO or as a business owner so that you can be a good leader. 
And then last week, we talked about how to take care of your employees so that they can actually, you know, help you as a business owner and help the business grow and survive this pandemic. Now we're going to be putting everything together. Okay. So, and, we and we're going to do that as one. as one. All right. We're going to take steps together. Okay. As one, because now we cannot just, good evening, Richard. We cannot just think about ourselves only. We have to think about everybody else also you know we have to think about how we can help each other how we can collaborate and how we can work together so that we can all get through this together so maria do you want to give us a little bit of a recap about the different you know like a short recap on how we can help uh our discussion about the the past two weeks about how we need to see the people in our company they're no they're not just employees but actually people you know they are our human resource i think the biggest the one thing that we really highlighted on last week na, diba? we have ceo smarts if you are a smart ceo you will see that right now we are not just in a health crisis we are also in a humanity crisis and right now the theme of all businesses should not be profitability but the focus of humanity because when you're focused on humanity naman it doesn't mean that you will not you will lose profit on the other hand uh, you know it's it's actually when you focus on humanity on serving people serving our clients serving the people that work for us that's really when the people really come together and take steps as one as we're going to talk about more today but that's actually when our employees and staff natin, yung team natin, you would really see people stepping up because they because you know people want right now we are in a in a in an in an in an era where people are really looking for leaders they're not just looking for jobs they're looking for leaders right leaders ang hinahanap ng tao. that's why Ang taas ng turnover rate for the, the HR, right? Like right now, kasi we lack good leaders. And this pandemic will really show us who are the great leaders, right? And last week you were saying that Ramon Ang is one of them, right? This is a very, mm -hmm. this is a very, very uh, inspiring and, and very impressive man who was able to put his own needs um behind a everybody's bomb. needs. Every, Yes, uh, when he was able to rise above uh, his own needs yes. and and really, really put humanity first, right? Because he said, well, I That's can make correct. money anytime, but life is so precious. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we're going to really talk about today. That's very true. And remember what another point that we touched on last week is that make sure that you see the human, you know, the human side of everybody right so maria we're not just talking about okay these are the people that will make your you know that that will run the business but you need to see their humanity you need to cover their basic needs so that they can actually focus on helping your business thrive right because they are your biggest what resource they're they're the ones that will actually make your company run all right so now we're gonna put everything together over the past two weeks we've discussed many different things now we're gonna put everything together through a framework and i want you guys to take notes on this and we are going to use the acronym steps right maria we work together what was that again <laughs> We, we take as steps one. together. We take steps as one. Yeah. Yes. We take so we take together. Steps we take steps together. as one. That's right. So S T E P S. I want you guys to remember that. All right. So the very very first thing that we're going to talk about is the very first thing that happens in a company amidst a pandemic, and that is the that the company goes into survival mode. Right. This is the we need to. As leaders and as employees, we need to put order in chaos, right? We need to find order in chaos, I'm sorry. The next step is to thrive. And the, the keywords on that would be cohesion and coordination. The next one, Maria, is e evolve. evolve and pace, pace, right? So that means to calibrate and configure. 
And then lastly, we have sustain, which means, you know, we rebuild on new routines. Hello to everybody who just came in. So let us go through the first step, right? Survive, right? We want to put order in case when this whole quarantine first started, when this whole um, pandemic was still, you know, in the very beginning, a lot of people pa started panic. A lot of things, especially when ECQ was implemented, we did not know what to do, right? So do, when we are in that first step, that first step meaning the survival step, right? We we answer questions like, you know, what direction, what to do, how to do it, um, what results and impact are we um, looking for? Why is it important? Who will be the beneficiaries? And then what will be the major moves, okay? Who will be the leader? Who will take command or control? These are the questions that we are, we are asking ourselves, not only as leaders, but also as an employee. These are the different, um, the, the different questions that's going through our mind. What are the commitments and assurances that are we, are we going to um, make? What are the supports that we, what are the different supports that we need, right? So in the first step, the survival step, these are the general questions that most of us have asked, especially when ECQ was first implemented. Maricor, thank you so much for the gifts of Food Panda. We really appreciate it. All of the virtual gifts, by the way, I'm sorry, Maria, I'm just gonna remind the folks, all of the virtual gifts um, given during my shows or especially like this stream all of my sh on all of my shows actually go directly to Opland Malasakit and this is to help all our frontliners who are helping us beat this COVID um, virus right um, our main goal is to protect them and equip them with proper proper um, protective gear so that they can go home to their families all right so thank you so much for the gifts and no we really, really appreciate it. So, Maria, let's go through the first step of our of our framework, which is survive. What can you say about this? Actually, I want to summarize all the all every all the questions that you gave earlier was really, really good. But I just thought, you know, actually, all of them are based on just one thing: how do we live another day? Kasi from the beginning, yun lang iisipin mo. How do we live another day? How do we serve another day? How could we open business another day? How can we take care of everybody another day? So just coming from mm -hmm. that, lahat ng questions na linis daw ni Ms. Olivia, she, it was all, it, we actually covered. Just thinking from how do you live another day? Kasi when, when, when a pandemic, uh, uh, something comes, you always think about, oh my God, I cannot live another day. So I always like to flip it to how can I live another day? So again, remember we talked about this, both episodes uh, from the past two weeks, your words matter. The way that you say yeah. things matter because it affects your mindset, all right? We have, a, we have a comment here on Facebook actually from the CEO of Quickwire. He said that without our team, our company is nothing. We are nothing. And so you see there, it is very important to take care of your human resource, all right? Resource. So now, is there any question, guys, when it comes to this very first step of our framework? So I, we would really love to hear from you guys. We would love to hear your inputs. We would love for you to like share your experiences or your point of views. Let me see. Frozone says, also data shows that the resiliency of the Filipino physiology. That's very true. Filipinos are quite yes. resilient. And this has been proven yeah. through crisis after crisis after crisis that we've been through, right? It's a very good point. Yes, yes. All right. So now, now let's see. After survive, we go through thrive. All right. And the key words here again is cohesion and coordination, right? Now, when we are at this stage, you know, both as, as a negotiante, or as a business owner or as an entrepreneur and as an employee now we both need to work together in what addressing people's evolving concerns and anxieties we need to encourage people right but how how do we encourage people we talked about this 
through coaching, mentoring, advising by providing them with the proper retraining or training tools, right? Especially for those people who aren't very well versed with digital or technology, right? There's also in this step, we also have to make sure that we address or we celebrate those quick wins, right? And discuss our accomplishments with everybody. This will keep everybody motivated to keep going. It gives hope. And in this step also, we have to secure buy-in for like the expanded actions that we're about to take right? We have to make sure that our employees or everybody or our stakeholders understand why we're doing something. Now is also the time in this step, we adapt to the evolving situation based on protocols because we really have to set out those protocols so that everybody knows what's expected and, you know, what's expected of them. So let me see. Frozen says companies under the project arc ensure safety of employees. Yes, Fro, um, I we that's a very, very good point. Not all companies under are are under project art. It is a very good project, right? So what are other options that are are currently available to to other companies who aren't able to sign up? We would love to know if you have any inputs on that. Maria, can you say anything about our second step, the second step into our framework, which is Thrive? A lot of us are probably still in this. We are still in this situ um, in this step, thriving, right? In our workplace, we are still trying to thrive. That means we're still trying to establish your SOPs, new SOPs, you know, we're trying to get the buy-in of our employees or, you know, um, we have celebrated small wins by making sure that everybody's communicating really well, that our operations is going. Remember that in this step, we are now looking into four major points, right? We're looking at the strategic, the people, the operational, and the systems, okay? of our company we need to start so, really looking into this and everybody in the company needs to be educated about it or at least communicated to about this go ahead maria so i think that if if we're looking at let's say survival as how do i live another day i would say thriving is about there is always another way <laughs> because that there is the question go. that is you know, that is something that we need to always come from. Because lalo na pag na lahat ng tao, everybody is panicking, you're, what happens is hindi, parang sometimes you're trying to do what everybody's doing, you're trying to do what doesn't fit your company. So you have to really come from, for me, I'm thriving kasi, you have to do things that really make sense for you, your business, your employees, and the setup of your business. Because let's say like me, uh, my business is very different from a food business, right? I'm, I'm in consulting and coaching. So it's 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 really, really a different setup. Okay, even within the consulting and the coaching field, maraming iba-ibang variety of uh, services that are available. So just the thought of, you know, there is always a better way, just coming from that will, help you already think of the small changes that you can create with your protocol, with your um, with your day-to-day. -day. Kasi minsan, we, we feel that we're always stuck. Eh. Ay, ito lang pwede natin gawin. We don't have a choice. I don't like I don't like this sentence, we don't have a choice because we always have a choice. And that choice can be that better way. So just coming from... It might from, not you know, be there a choice a that we way, like, but we always have a choice, diba? Yes. Yes, and that so is the better a, choice. Yes. So let's take a look at these four points and how they can actually how how they actually um go together, right? So like I mean not really go together. Let's what are the Work questions? Yes, what yeah. are the questions that we have to ask ourselves or that we have to communicate to our employees or the employees have to ask their bosses or the leaders of their company, right? So because right now, the, the two has to really work hand in hand together. Cannot just be boss, boss. They have to really communicate and be transparent now to their employees because everybody's very anxious. Remember, everybody doesn't know what's going on. So the more that you communicate with your employees, the more that you, you are able to have a discussion with them, the better it is for your company. So let's take a look. Between strate strategy and people, now you are what? You are trying to identify key employees. They're 
their compet uh, competency requirements, you know, the training and development need, uh, training and development that is needed for the company to keep going, at least for the thrive stage, all right? Between people and operations, now we're thinking, hmm, what kind of communication? Like what, what, when, and how are they gonna communicate with us? What are our commitments and assurances? Is there any other support that we need? And then between operations and systems, now we're looking at work policies, right? We are looking at work assignments, employment status. We're looking at, are we gonna outsource? And then of course, for systems and strategy, we're looking at structures. We're looking at work relationships, performance management, and of course, compensation. Compensation is very important. Remember how we discussed last week the um, to look at wage as it's not as a cost or as a form of income. Remember, we both need, as an employer and as an employee, we, we both need to understand that, right? That, that point of view. Okay, so now that is our second step in our framework of working together, right? Both the bosses, the CEOs, and the employees working together. So first we had survive, now we go to thrive, and when we're done thriving, or at least we have been thriving a little bit, um, we're, we're thriving better, now we go We've optimized. to- We've I think the I think the better- Phrasing would be the moment we've optimized our setup, there you then go. we go to the third one. Yeah. Okay. So now we have a limitless Raj. Um, nope. We actually, we've been around 20 minutes into the discussion. All right. Hi, Malu. Hello to everybody who just joined in. This is the Startup Secrets, the real negotiante talk. And now we are um, we are talking about how to move our businesses for, or at least the stages that the business will have to go through, right? Um, now that we are going through this pandemic and to be able to sustain it and hopefully survive this pandemic. So now we are on our third stage, which is E and P, right? So Maria, what is E and P again? E stands for evolve, okay, which is adapting to the changes that's happening. And P stands for pacing. Because we, we have to face it in a way that, hindi na, that, that, uh, that, that all the parties involved will not be surprised or overwhelmed. Because we want to go to the fourth step, which is sustain. So for this phase three, we're really looking at really evolving well and facing ourselves well as we evolve so that we can go to the fourth phase, which is sustain. That's very, very good, Maria. So that was very good. So again, the key words for this third step is calibrate and configure. Now we ask, what's the plan? What is going to be our course direction, right? What are our goals? What have we accomplished? What has changed? What should we adjust? These are now the questions. What are our validated SOPs, all right? Or should we expand participation through, you know, our different stakeholders or within our own group? Now, this is our different, this is, these are the different questions that we have to ask. Now, these are, aren't just questions for business owners or for the CEOs. These are also questions for you, for you, you, you as the employees, right? Because you need to have clarity as to how you're going to go about what is really the plan you know, for the company so that you know actually what you're working towards, all right? So you aren't left in the dark. So, because remember, you are a stakeholder in that company, okay? So I want you to feel empowered to advocate for yourself, to be educated, okay? So remember guys, communicate, 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 all right? Now it is it, it, during this time is when we actually have to start not only thinking outside the box, but actually being, remember, Maria, we did this during our brainstorming session, you know, for negotiating tips for a cause. We got COVID creative, right? Now is the time to be creative, okay? As we start to adapt, as we start to really validate different things in our new structure, now this is what we have to start. This is now when we have to start broadening our minds, right? Go ahead, Maria. I think it's all. <clears throat> I, I think it's also really about 
yes, we have to be creative about how we can evolve, not just within the pandemic, but again, we're going into, you know, the, the outside of this pandemic. This is, this is a temporary situation, right? So yung pag-evolve natin, it has to evolve with where the future is going to head. So meron pa yung directive, direction to, to how we go that. That's why um, I think uh, Miss Olivia is very, very, uh, very, very adamant na it's important to keep communicating kasi our needs change. Right now, our needs change on a day-to-day -day basis. Ganun kabilis ang changes of the market because we don't know what's going to be in let's say a week's time right even in the philippines manila we don't know if the ecq is going to be suspended or tuloy pa rin ang ecq so it, it's really that if that being creative being quick being responsive to the changes that's around us and we evolve with it so guys to those who are you know currently watching um do you guys have anything to add into what we've been discussing we would really love to hear from everybody right so yeah you can ask now fro you can everybody you guys can actually ask now you can actually um give us your own experiences if you have any questions if you have any clarifications or if you just want to share your own thoughts also now you can just go ahead and type it down all right and then as long as it is actually related to the topic, remember, we need to be focused on the topic. All right. Thanks, Erin. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful virtual gifts. Hi, Bean. Hi, Pina. Right. So, hi, Kunkun. Actually, let me see. We have gone through the different steps already. Wow. We actually went through it quite quickly, right? So let me give a short recap again. So we're talking about our framework, which is steps, right? And we just want you to really understand what the different companies or what your company is going through or will be going through once you open again or once you start it up again, right? Because a lot of businesses are still actually closed down, right? Maybe they didn't get an ECQ business pass. Maybe, you know, they're kind of like just skeletal framework right now. So, I mean, skeletal um, operations right now. So we really want you to understand the different stages of what you might experience so that you can make informed decisions right and you know exactly what questions to ask and how to lead your 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 company right and of course you as an employee if you're seeing that your your boss or your your ceo being lost then you can guide them right you can guide them collaborate right so let's go through it again again it is steps First is survive, the survival step. The second is the thriving step. The third one is uh, evolve and pace. And then, of course, the last one is sustain. All right, so steps. So let's go through the um, the different, um, what do you call this? The different um, keys that I want you to remember. Yeah. Yes, so yeah, the, the, for survival. That's right, Maria. Thank you for that. So for survive, we want you to put order, you know, during the chaos. All right. For the second one, we it's about cohesion and coordination. For the third one, it's about calibrating and configuring. And then, of course, for the last one, it's about rebuilding on new routines. All right, guys. So yes. um, and I, are, I want to add something. I want to add something ahead, here. If if um like miss olivia gave us our keywords for each phase i want to, to give you the key thoughts for each phase which is first cool. how do we live another day okay for survival yes. it's how to live another day for thriving there is always a better way <laughs> for evolve and pace it's we will choose the most effective way and mm -hmm. for sustain we will keep moving forward and together we take steps as 
All right. That is so, so wonderful. Isn't that great? Right? Manel, Manel loves it. Manel loves it. So Maria is really creative when it comes to this. So as you can see, Miss O is all about the facts. Miss O is very objective. And Maria just puts a lot of spice into things, which actually makes things a lot of fun and easy to remember. Right? So this is very, very important. See how your business tribe or your business partners can actually make things a lot better once you know how to properly communicate and collaborate with each other right so let us go um i do have a favor maria can i bring up somebody because you know that we actually yes, are working yes, with oplan malasakit and you guys know this we are all of the virtual gifts given to me during my my shows we oh we donated to Oplan Malasakit to help our frontliners. I'd like to bring up somebody to give us a quick update, right? Um, Facebook people, you won't be able to see him because he's actually just here on Kumu. So um, please bear with us and please be patient. I'm so sorry. I will, I will make sure to coordinate better next time and also have him on Facebook, all right? Um, Fro, can you give me um, a request so that I can bring you up so that you can give us um, an update on how Opla Malasakit is going. Uh, the drive is going, right? Right there. Hi, Hi good evening, Fro. Please meet Miss Maria K10. Hi, Barrio Bruja. Hi, Fro. Mabuti, mabuti. Thank you. It's nice to hear you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, for for. You're welcome, Fro. Um, I'd just like to introduce you a little bit to our viewers here on Kumu. I, and again, FB people, I'm so sorry. Please bear with us. Um, um, Kumu people, you guys have heard about Opla Malasakit. This is one of the Oplam boys. His name is Fro Oliva, and he will be giving us an update on how um, the donation drive, how how um, how Opla Malasakit has been um, active this past week. All right, Fro? Aerosol boxes. Like intubations. boxes. So, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, guys, this coming Saturday, there will be another wonderful, um, actually, it's an extravaganza, right? There's going to be an extravaganza here on Kumu. So, Facebook people, please download Kumu, 
right? Um, there will be an extravaganza that will be thrown by the Pamilya Sarangola and the, the beneficiary of that extravaganza will be Upland Malasakit and we will be we will be actually um, doing a lot of things. It will go from 8 p.m. onwards, right? And there will be singers, actors, wonderful comedians in that in that show. So please come join us and all your virtual gifts will be donated to Upland Malasakit so that we can help more frontliners. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fro Fro um, actually is a business consultant. And so you might be seeing him um, on this show. We have two more shows for the first season of, of, um, of Startup Secrets, The Real Negotiated Talk. So the you might be seeing him, all right? Right, The Real Negotiated Talk. Yeah, so you might be seeing him again. So thank you, Fro. Thank you so much. All right, bye. You're welcome. All right, You're guys. Welcome. So we do have. Okay. So that was Fro from um, Upland Malasaki. Thank you so yeah, much, think, De Borja. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should give some, just a very brief summary or, or just a recap of the Upland Malasaki thing for our Facebook viewers. Um, yes. Maybe can, so, can you talk about it just a little bit? What it's about? Yes. What's the initiative for? Thank you, Fonso. Yes. Yeah, so guys on Facebook, so thank you for being so patient while we were discussing something on Kumu. We, we had um, we had a guest come up on Kumu and he is Fro from um, Fro Oliva from Upla Malasakit. And he just kept, uh, gave a quick update about the different initiatives or the different um, activities that that Opla Malasakit has been doing uh, the past week. So he did say that we, um, Opla Malasakit was able to reach around 40 hospitals and has been able to donate uh, over a thousand PPEs and um, also N95 mask, aerosol boxes and different other different things to different hospitals and COVID centers in, in and outside the metro. So that was what we were talking about on Kumu. All right, so we do, Maria, we do have a comment here on Facebook wherein he says, too much order can stifle creativity. And I do believe in this. And I do believe in this. And this is why I think it's so, so wonderful that I have Maria as a partner because Miss Olivia can be just... <laughs> can be just all business. I can just be all about business. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, Fro knows this also. So so I can be just all about business. I can be very, very serious. And then, of course, you guys, you know, give me, give me a little bit of that fun, <laughs> fun, creative, spicy stuff, right? Look into the different brain quadrants. All right. All right, Fro. So that is that's okay. I will I will research on that, right? Although I think I have researched on that when I was in school. I might have to revisit it. So now, guys, let's go to our last um, step, which is to sustain, and that means rebuilding on your routines. Right now, as a CEO, business owner, or even as an employee, you need to start thinking what the breadth and depth of your company, right? Who are your customers, your beneficiaries, which services, you know, and what supports do you need? These you need to you need to really think about this. You also need to think about are we going to expand our involvement, right? Within the group or with our partners or our supporters. And then also we need to make sure that we have guidelines. Who, how, when, where, what, these are very important. And of course, metrics and benchmarks so that we, we can actually see how we're progressing. Metrics and benchmarks are very, very important, all right? So make sure that you know, you know, you know your, um, your um, key performance, um, oh my goodness, your KPAs, all right? So make KPIs. sure that you know that. <laughs> KPIs, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Sorry, long day for Miss O. Oh, really long day. <laughs> KPIs, not KPAs. I don't know where that came from. Yes. So, Maria, any anything to add to this before I actually go into the different points? Uh, like I said, I think the sustainability, it, it always needs about thinking how we move forward. So, remember, we are at the Right now, the pandemic is a temporary situation. We've evolved with it. Some people haven't. 
Pero sooner or later, this whatever we have right now, this is the new normal now, but this is not going to be the normal tomorrow. So whatever the normal tomorrow is, we need to, like, like Ms. O said, build on to what we have right now or tweak it or adjust it so that we can sustain it. Because what we have right now is temporary only. So that's very, very true. Remember, this pandemic is temporary. All right. This crisis that we're going through is temporary. So on the last step, sustain, now we have to anchor on improvements, right? We have to think about performance, the capacity and capability, right? You need to rationalize things. You need to think about organizational transformation. You need to think about leadership and management. You need to think whether you can replicate, enhance, or institutionalize the different things that is going on, all right? So now we take a look at the different points again, right? There are four points, and that is, again, that strategy, people, operations, and systems. So between strategy and people, what are we actually going to be looking at, right? What are we going to be looking at over here, Maria? I think these are, you know, were your key employees, you know, were your key employees effective? Were they efficient, right? Um, yeah, the, and, the and I think also are these, are the same people that, because with the pandemic, I think the roles have changed as well. You see people stepping up, people who are uh, doing different things. So I think for the sustained phase, it would be about are our people not only effective, but are they still going to play the same roles? Or or will they continue the evolved role after after the pandemic or you know in, in a few months? So that or are we going to create new roles for them or new divisions, right? Are we going to make a temporary solution permanent? So I think those questions when it comes to strategy and people, that's so important because people is always part of the whole projection, the trajectory of the business in terms of strategy, in terms of like how it's going to move forward. So I think that is a very key consideration here. Okay. That's a, those are very, very good points, Maria. Now let's move on to people and operations. Now in the stage or the last step of sustaining right or rebuilding on new routines now we take a look about our different um sops the different the different communication styles that worked for us we take a look at our different commitments right we take a look at our the supports do we still need those supports or do we can we let go of some of them mm. or do we have to evolve you know do we have to change it all right And then, of course, we go towards the operations and the systems, wherein we now it's about, hey, are we going to institutionalize the new work policies? Are we going to, you know, are we going to start enhancing or maybe um, changing the way that we start doing performance management or performance reviews? Are we going to start taking a look at our, our leadership or like the management styles, right? So now we have all these new questions, right? Because we, we want to make sure that we are actually moving forward and that we're not being stuck, right? A lot of the times people get stuck on the first three steps. They're, they're unable to go and move forward, right? And then of course, between systems and, and strategy, now we take a look, hey, can we institutionalize this new structure or this new work relationship? Can our performance measures are are they still, you know, effective? Are this really what we want to measure? So there's a lot of new things that we have to talk about. We have to actually take a look into when we are trying now to sustain the business. All right, guys. You guys are awfully quiet tonight. I know it's a lot of theories tonight. We will be putting everything into application next week, right? We're going to be putting everything into more um, <laughs> into real world situations. Today, we are, I mean, tonight, we're really, we're, we're really just 
talking about the the bulk of the theories all right but next yeah week, and the, really the questions we need to ask ourselves to ask today so, today we really brought out the, the the most important questions to ask in each of those spaces that's why we and ang daming tanong but these questions will help us get clarity and specificity moving forward these questions are the most i, I always think they are the foundation of any kind of you know taking steps together right that's that's right that's right because you, you guys need to know the basics the foundations right before we so that you get you guys actually can identify you know which stage you're in and what you need to do right but next week we're actually going to be put putting this all into you know into the reality or the real experiences that everybody has been going through all right so don't worry we'll get there all right i don't want you to get anxious all right step by step slowly but surely let's just make sure that you all understand the framework first and the different stages right and then next week we're going to be discussing it in real world situation all right remember we only have two more episodes for this season so so we need to get ready for that and of course we want to equip you guys with you know proper knowledge right proper information so that you just you aren't swimming through blindly through things all right so Maria, I think that's about it for tonight. Um, would you like to do a small recap on our, our framework? In the pandemic, in the Philippines, we have this very beautiful hashtag, we heal as one. In business, we take steps as one. And with one, that means we survive together. Okay, we think of how we can live another day together. We think of how we can put order in chaos together. And the key, again, is the word together. In thriving, we think about the better options available for us, the other options available for us, right? In evolution and facing ourselves, it's about asking ourselves, is this the best way? Is this the most effective way, right? The how do we calibrate and configure within our systems? And of course, the last part, which is sustainability, is how can we keep this forward? Or do we want to keep this forward? Ano yung mga pagbabago na dapat makita natin sa, sa, sa business natin, sa mga negosyo, sa business models? Because again, what we have right now is a pandemic that's a temporary situation. We are evolving with it. Some people have are already in thriving. Some people are still surviving, have barely yet survived. Some people are at the thriving stages. Some people are at the evolution stages, right? Evolution, evolution phase. But sooner or later, we will get into sustainability. And that is the one thing I think the, the key of this steps framework is that part. So thank you for that, Maria. Um, viewers, please make sure that you write down all your questions for next week, all right? Especially because next week we're going to be putting all of this into, you know, the practical aspects of things, all right? So make sure that you write them down because if not, you're going to forget, all right? So thank you, thank you so much for joining us tonight and make sure, I hope that you guys took notes because I'm going to give you a quiz next week. I'm kidding. I am kidding. <laughs> Miss O is not going to give you a quiz. All right. But we will definitely review the framework next You'll week. You'll also so get a virtual gift from Miss O. <laughs> <laughs> when you, get a, you have virtual prices then. <laughs> Ooh, that could be a good thing, huh? So, all right, guys. So, See, see, lots of great ideas from Miss Maria K. Tan over there, right? So we hope that you learned a lot. We hope that you, you know, you, you got a lot of different uh, points. I hope that we got our points across so that you are able to understand the different stages that your business or that your employer must um, is going through. All right. So that you don't feel so anxious, so that you don't feel so um, lost through this through this crisis right so um we will like i said we will be meeting again next week and we will be putting this into a more you know into a more real life we will Practical. be setting um ah, miss o has had a long day i'm sorry but we will be definitely discussing <laughs> okay, real so life next week, let me help you <laughs> let me help you so next week 
<laughs> Next week, we're going to translate the theories that we've learned today into okay. actionable steps, into actionable milestones, and to more real-life scenarios para mas mabilis para sa inyong lahat na mag-evolve, mag to take steps as one, to heal as one with this dahil tayong mga Pinoy ay very, very resilient. And our resilience is what makes us really very good in any kind of situation. There you go. See what, see, and, it's important to have really, really good partnerships. See how Maria just saved me over there? Oh my goodness, see? So guys, we hope that you learned a lot. We hope that you took notes. Um, we will see you guys next week at the same time, 8 p.m. Thurs on Thursday. Um, this is the real, no, Startup Secrets, the real negotiate talk. So see you guys, we might have some guests over just to give us a little bit more of a broader scope for the different um, examples that we're gonna be giving you. All right, guys? So All right. have Thank a you wonderful, so much. See wonderful you night. Week. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys.